Hello, in this video, we're going to learn how to control a servo using the PyPico by allowing the user to type a value of an angle for the servo to go to like this. So like right here, if I press 180, press enter, the servo goes there. If I put zero, it goes back there. If I put maybe 90, it goes back there. If I put 45, um, if I go back to 100, perfect. That's what we're going to do. Now, to make this first, you're going to need an editor called Tony. I'm going to go ahead and open mine, which is this one. Then, right after Tony is up, you need to connect your server to the Raspberry Pi Pico, as I'm going to demonstrate. So, you need to take the ground on the server and put it on the ground on the Pi Pico, all right? And then, you need to take the, um, the VCC and put it on the VBus on the Pi Pico. And of course, you need to take the signal and put it right here on the GPIO pin 15. Then, you need, if you have your Tony editor opened, you need to check down here in the um, left, in the right uh, bottom corner, and see if you have MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pika connected. Because if you don't have it there, it means that there's something a little wrong. Or maybe you can even type, click right here and choose it if it's not selected. Now let's go ahead and start the coding. The first thing to do here is to import um, required libraries. So the first one is machine. So we're gonna say from machine, and then we're gonna import. The first one is pin, because we need to specify the pins where everything is connected. And the next one is the PWM, P, WM, which stands for Pulse Width Modulation, used to control the position of a server, all right? Then I'm going to go ahead now and import the U-Time. I'm sorry, I can type import, import U-Time with a little space right here. Now the U-Time helps us, you know, add a little delays and such kind of thing. Now, there's this kind of little thing that we need to consider. This server can only turn 180 degrees, all right? So um, we need now to set the values, making it, limiting it to its capabilities. So the first one is going to be mid, which stands for, you know, middle. Now we're going to say, we're going to put this number, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all right? This one is the... The, the middle value of this solve, all right? And these values are set in microseconds. Now, this represents the duty cycle value for the server to be in the middle, minimum and max. So the, that one is the middle. Now the max, I'm gonna set up the max. The max is gonna be, um, oh, sorry, the mean. Let's go first start with the mean. One, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and set up the max, the max, which is 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, just like that. So now these values right here corresponds to the limitations of this server, which cannot go be uh, below zero or maybe go up above 180 degrees. So uh, these values are set in micro in nanoseconds. Now let's now set the... Um, the pulse width modulation, which is used to control the position of a solvo, we're going to declare a variable name PWM. Then we're going to set it to PWM. Um, now we're going to specify the pin where the solvo is connected, which is pin 15, as we mentioned right here. All right. Now I'm going to go down a little. Now we need to set the frequency for this servo which works on, which is 50 hertz. I'm gonna say um, PM, no, no, PWM dot frequency, freak, freak like that. Then I'm gonna set 50. Now, the next thing to do now, there's a function that helps us to, you know, set up, and the, the function that helps us to, you know, set the, the, the degree where we need our server to be. And that one is called duty NF. So I'm going to say, to get started, we need our server to be at the minimum, all right? 
So I want to say pm dot duty and s. And then I'm going to set it to this value right here, which is the mid, right? MID. Now, um, so now by starting our server will be at the mid. The mid. Now we're going to make a, an endless loop to help us, you know, keep the program running. I'm going to stay. I'm going to use a while. Um, we're going to use while. Then true. Now what do we need first? Let's try to make this servo go to first mid, min, then max. Go back again and so forth. So to do that, we need to specify that by you know setting the mean, the PWM, which is our servo, then um, duty and S, then set it first to let's say mean and wait uh, one second, your time. Wait one second, I'm gonna wait you time by using you time dot sleep. Then I'm going to put in one, which stands for one second. Now, uh, the next thing to do right here is to take this PWM. Now I'm going to set it to maybe mid. Again, wait one second, like that. Then again, I'm going to set it back to. Um, now we go to max. Then again, wait one second all right so what we're doing right here is we're setting our server to be working like if it's on max it goes to the mean wait one second go back to the mid and so forth that's the movement we need our server to run on so now the thing i'm gonna do if everything is working perfect i'm gonna go here and press run there's uh something wrong where on so oh yo right here i need to add a pin like that then run again now you can see that our server is running and so now here it's max mean yeah just like that now this is not really what we want but this helped us, helped us play with along with the server now we need the server to go to the angle where the user wants it to be so to do that I'm gonna get rid of these maybe but maybe let's leave it right there. I'm going to go here and declare a value called a variable called angle. Then I'm going to give it, uh, I'm going to allow the user to input something into that angle, but which is an integer. In here, I'm going to say print, I'm going to say input. Then I'm going to ask the user to enter an angle between between zero and 180 all right so um the next thing to do here now is to check if that angle is not above 180 or below zero we're going to do this by using an if condition i'm going to say if angle not below zero or angle above 180 then what do we do we print we print that now in this case right here the angle is invalid because our server cannot turn up to there so i'm going to say invalid angle and now we need please um, enter an angle between 0 and 180. Now I'm going to go back there and say else. The else now specifies that the user entered an angle that verifies that uh, that is not between, that is not below or above 180. So what we do now is we're going to set a value that is called duty that is going to help us convert the angle to the cycle of what we declared right here of these values all right so um now i'm gonna do that by duty 
defining a variable named duty, then it is going to be equal to, someone else use int, get in right here, then the formula here is the minimum minus the max, the max minus the mean, all right? Um, oh, yes. And the max, the mean minus the max. No, here it's plus. Yeah, just like that. And then the next thing to do after we use this formula is to go down a little and now set our PMW, which is our server, to its duty NS, all right? So I'm going to say now here that the P, sorry, the PWAM dot duty and S is now set to these duty we calculated right there. Now we're gonna wait a little time dot sleep. Maybe let's wait um, just one second again. Go back right here and indicate that the angle where the 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 um the servo is set to. So I'm gonna say print. Let me put the format right here. Then say that the solvo is set to just like that, and then put here angle. All right. Uh, so I think that is all. So, but maybe let's put this waiting time down here. Now I'm going to get rid of these, try to run this program and see what's going on. So I'm going to first stop the first one, the one that was running. If it stopped, make sure, okay. So, so let me first unplug, plug it back again. Now what I'm gonna do here is to run this program. So it is asking me to enter a number between zero and uh, 180. I'm gonna put zero. It goes to zero. I'm gonna put 90. What is wrong? So let me go ahead and put 180. So something is wrong. Let me stop. Run again. I put 180, it goes there, if I put 90, it's not working, if I put 60, not working, so what is wrong, so um, let's try to debug, oh, oops, we forgot something, so we need to time, I mean, to multiply the angle given by the user then divide by 180 oh my god uh, so i'm gonna stop run it again now uh, maybe let's put two dots right here stop run it again run so prompting me to add and now something let me pull this up so i'm gonna uh, put maybe 180 because we know at the beginning it's on zero it goes there now let me put um, 90, perfect goes there, zero goes there. If maybe we put something wrong, let's put 700. Tells us that the angle does not, cannot be uh, set to the server. 50, um, 30, let's say now 100. So this is how this can be done. So thank you for watching this video. And if you like contents like this, or maybe what I do, consider subscribing and pressing the like button and leave a comment maybe if there's some things you need me to clear up in this video and thank you and until next time peace